Hey guys, happy Eclipse Day. I hope you enjoyed it. We did, we got to watch some of it and it was really super neat. So, today's video is it our top 10 read alouds that we're gonna do this year. This corresponds with my blog post, which I'm gonna be posting tomorrow along with this video, hopefully, fingers crossed. It goes along with the Broken the Bookish Top 10 Tuesday feature, so. I'm really excited. It was a back to school freebie, so you get to pick what the topic was as long as it relates to back to school. So I wrote down our read alouds that we're going to do throughout the year. Some of them are arrow guides, and usually I read two at a time. So these are my picks for this school year. I've been loving everything you super right. <laughs> anyway, number one is Homer Price. Alright, so our first book is Homer Price by Robert McCloskey. And I believe he's the one who wrote like Blueberries for Sal. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he did, right? I'm guessing. I mean, I'm, I know that name. But anyway, I don't know if he's got illustrations in here. Do they look? Yeah. So, anyway, Homer Price. This is our first read aloud that we're going to do. We're going to start this one. And I've heard good things about this one, so I'm excited. This is a library copy. If the library has it, I use the library one. And it's got illustrations in it. It's really nice. That's number one. And then number two, I am not going by my blog post because I can't remember how I line them up on my blog. So this might be different than my blog, order-wise. Number two is Sarah Plain and Tall. I will probably read these together. I'll probably read this one aloud and then read some of this out loud and get my daughter to read to me with this one because this, I believe, is a reader for sunlight. So... I hopefully she can handle so at least reading some of this. I know she will probably will can't read all of this aloud to me, but to start. So I have the arrow guide for this. So that's what we'll be following for the next four weeks. Is this? Try that out. So our first arrow. I'm pretty excited. When I say pretty, I mean I'm like super duper excited. I hope it works and I hope we like it because I've just awesome. Anyway. Um, number three is Mary on Horseback, which I don't have, and our library doesn't have it, so when we get to that point, I will buy it off Amazon, so that's what that is, and that is a kindergarten sunlight. I usually look at sunlight to find my reading list, so that is a kindergarten one. I'm kind of combining kindergarten, first, second, third grade, um, sunlight reading list. So, Mary on Horseback. My Father's Dragon, which I have on Kindle, I believe that's also a kindergarten um, sunlight reader, read aloud. So, My Father's Dragon. Next up is Stuart Little, which I don't have. I have Trump of the Swan and Charlotte's Web, but I don't have Stuart Little. So, I will have to get that from the library. And that is also an arrow, so we will get the arrow guide for that when we get to it. And do that as the next arrow. Um, Adventures with Waffles, is that right? Adventures with Waffles, yes. It's another Kindergarten Sunlight book. Alright, and next number seven is The Penderwicks, which is also a, I know our library has it, and it's also an arrow, so that will be the arrow after um, Stuart Little. Number Eight is in Grandma's Attic. I believe I read that when I was little, and I think I really liked it. So I'm excited to see if that's the same book that I read. Um, it's, I know it's a kindergarten read aloud or first grade read aloud, I'm not sure. But for Sunlight, so I'm excited for that one. Number nine is The Witch of Blackbird Pond. 
I'm not sure if our library has that one. I haven't looked, but um, if not, I'll buy that off Amazon. Anyway, and I believe it's a third grade Sunlight Reader. Number 10 is On the Banks of Plum Creek. And that is, of course, a Laura Ingalls Wilder book. And that is number four, because I believe it's Little House of the Big Woods, Farmer Boy, Little House in the Prairie. And then it's On the Banks of Plum Creek. I never, I've never read these. These are my first time going through these. And we read the first. We haven't read Farmer Boy, but I'm holding off on that one because my girls really just love Laura, Carrie, and um, Mary. So, I'm holding off on Farmer Boy because it goes with her husband's story. So, we're sticking with just them. Um, so, On the Banks of Plum Creek, that's an arrow. And that's what we'll do after uh, what the Pender Weeks. Yeah. So, those are our read-alouds. Just as an extra little tidbit, is we, this is where we're finishing up probably this week. is Dolphin Adventure. And, well, I mean, we have like two chapters left. I mean, this is very short, very little, and we just this was our summer read aloud, and we just pick that up every once in a while and read it. Another thing that I'm reading throughout the year is this Nature Stories to Read Aloud by Thornton W. Burgess. He's the one who wrote um, the Burgess Book of Birds and Animals, and so I haven't read any of this. We've done a little bit with Burgess Book of Birds, and um, girls are okay with it, you know. An acquired taste, I think, story-wise, and now that we've really gotten, they've gotten so, so exposed to all the read-alouds, because we did that beginning of the school year, and then we kind of stopped, but now that they're used to the homeschool read-alouds and stuff like that, I think we'll go back and try this again and see if they really get into it. Another one is the Blue Fairy Book by Andrew Lang. It's just fairy tales. Uh, yeah, like Beauty and the Beast, like the original fairy tales of it. And they do enjoy these. Some of the stories can get really long, so they will, I'll stretch it out throughout the two weeks. And some are very short. So, we do, do these like every once in a while. I'll pull out one of these stories. So, that is our back to school read aloud. So, hope you enjoy. Thanks.